won some games without a lot of hitting. Have you ever won a game without almost any hitting? Yeah, I, you know, I, I just I think we're pitching it, and I think we're defending it at, at a very high level. Um, if you would say, hey, John, would you prefer to lose this game and get 15 hits uh, or win this game and get two, um, you know, I think we'll, we'll take what we got because, I, you know, I, it's no secret we're not a great offensive club right now, but our kids are doing whatever it takes, including HBPs. You know, Brett Brownlee takes a ball off of me that he had surgery on six weeks ago to help us win a baseball game. Uh, you, you just you, you can't imagine the type of courage it takes to do those kinds of things. Wes Ray had to, you know, they had to do some magic in the training room just to get him out here because of his shoulder. And, and Dr. Linton did a, a good job just getting him out there. Wes Ray has to play for us because he's such a great defender. And he made two plays today that, that helped win this ball game. So he also had some great at bats and he has the RBI uh, sacrifice there. So, um, you know, we, we did enough. And, uh, you know, hope, hopefully. Um, you know, with, without a CT Brad from the lineup and, and some of the guys are banged up, hopefully this week we can get rested up and maybe get some of those guys a little bit closer to full speed. HBPs are something you've always been good at. Is, do, you, do you like practice that in some way or just preach it, preach it, preach yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, there, there are things we do for sure. Um, and we don't want anybody to get hurt <laughs> and we don't want anybody to break fingers. We don't even want any of that to happen. But if a pitcher can move you off the plate, then, then he's going to win the battle. Uh, he, he's, it opens up the outer half. It has nothing to do with actually getting hit by the pitch. It has more to do with trying to control the strike zone and control where you are in the batter's box. So our, our kids are good at it, thank goodness, because if we didn't have that club in our bag right now, you know, we, we may, wouldn't be able to put four runs on the board. And thank goodness that was enough to get it done. Any update on Trey? What's that? Any update on yeah, Trey? Yeah, he'll, he'll get x-rayed first thing tomorrow morning. It, it doesn't look horrible, um, but we'll, we'll wait and see. What about CT? It was right on the metacarpal area. What about CT? What's the... Exactly how bad He's in a is lot it? of pain this morning. You know, they're going to have to wait for swelling to go down and see what the inflammation's like. You know, there's a little bit of a tear in his uh, labrum. There was before he had that couple of collisions. So, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. I, I think it'll be one of those deals with how much pain he can deal with. Uh, he's already dealt with a lot of pain, so it's, it'll be a day by day. Thing. What about Luis and, uh, and Caleb? I thought that would be a three inning bridge for you this year. It turns out to be a nine inning bridge yeah, for you this yeah, year. Yeah, I thought Polio was just amazing. You know, the, the, the wonderful thing about Polio is. He's a veteran guy, he's a junior, and he's saying, you know, he, he could have been one of those selfish guys who says, how come I'm not getting the ball more? Every time I get it, I'm pitching well. How come I'm not starting? Me, 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 but he's not. He's a team, team, team guy. And when he got his opportunity today, he made the most of it. Let me tell you something, he's on that top step cheering for whoever's on that bump or whoever's in the batter's box for our team. I, I've never been more proud of a guy who's five foot seven inches tall, maybe. He's going 88, 90. Uh, he's punching out seven guys on a very, very good offensive club in six innings. Um, I, I don't think there are enough actual tips to talk about the, the heart that that young man has. You see to really get the crowd into it when he ran the guy down between second and third. Yeah, just the he, type of guy well, he's, he is. He's as athletic as anybody on the field. Um, you know, to see that guy run and to, to see his athleticism, to see his ability to control the running game, you can't bunt on him. If, I mean, if it's in that circle, I mean, or around that circle, he's going to make a play. and. Uh, you know, it's one of the few times in baseball where you get a rundown and the pitcher's faster than the guy on the bases. Um, he, he's just an unbelievable competitor, and he brings it every day. If we practice tomorrow, he will bring it tomorrow. Um, you just, you got to have those kind of guys. Those are the kind of guys who, who gut it out, and that's how you win four or two games with, with, with two hits in a ball game. I know a lot